Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Persons represented Escalus, Prince of Verona, read by David Muncaster. Paris, a young nobleman, kinsman to the prince, read by M. B. Montague, read by Chris Hughes, and Capulet, read by Andy Minter, heads of two houses at variance with each other. An old man, uncle to Capulet, read by Alan Davis Drake. Romeo, son to Montague, read by Simon Taylor. Mercutio, kinsman to the prince and friend to Romeo, read by Andrew Lebrun. Benvolio, nephew to Montague and friend to Romeo, read by David Nicol. Tybalt, nephew to Lady Capulet, read by Joshua B. Christensen. Friar Lawrence, our Franciscan, read by Alan Davis Drake. Friar John, of the same order, read by Sean McKinley. Balthazar, servant to Romeo, read by Scott D. Farquhar. Samson, servant to Capulet, read by Esther. Gregory, servant to Capulet, read by David O'Connell. Peter, servant to Juliet's nurse, read by Jacina. Abraham, servant to Montague, read by Caliban. An apothecary, read by Lucy Perry. Three musicians, read by Laurie Ann Walden, Ohm 123, and Aaron Walden. Chorus, read by Ancilla. Page to Paris, read by C. J. Nowak. Lady Montague, wife to Montague, read by Christy Nowak. Lady Capulet, wife to Capulet, read by Corey Samuel. Juliet, daughter to Capulet, read by Elizabeth Clett. Nurse to Juliet, read by Kristen Hughes. Servants to Capulet, read by Abigail Bartels and Lizzie Driver. Three Watchmen, read by Caliban, Jacina, and Brafery. Citizens, read by Rice Lawson and Laurie Ann Walden. Stage Directions, read by David Lawrence. The Prologue of Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Enter Chorus. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny, Where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, A pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, Whose misadventured piteous overthrows Doth with their death bury their parents' strife. The fearful passage of their death-marked love, And the continuance of their parents' rage, which but their children's end not could remove, is now the two hours' traffic of our stage. The which, if you with patient ears attend, what here shall miss, our toil shall strive to mend. Exit. End of Prologue